Look at that! <laughs> All right, friends, it is time for another monster build, and this one is gonna be huge. Massive, we're gonna take this ME262 and giant size it. Yes, now thanks to you guys, you've been leaving a lot of comments down below that you wanna see an epic air battle. And you know, sadly, our Zero versus Corsair did not last that long, did it, son? <laughs> no, it didn't. Are you above me? Yes, oh, I'm above you. Oh, 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 oh. Yep. <laughs> So this time we're gonna go back at it. We are gonna put the ME262 against the Nemesis. We're gonna keep that secret for a little bit longer. Our first goal here is we're gonna monster size this bad boy, make it huge, get it flying. And then ultimately, we're gonna end with an epic aerial battle like you've never seen before. And we frankly, we've never done before. It's gonna be amazing. We gotta start building. Building. So the bottom surface of the wing is all done. No, you did a killer job, buddy. Thanks. It looks really good. We're not gonna skin this. We learned a lot of valuable lessons with the Stuka bomber. Mainly, you wanna really beef up the wings even more than we did before. Cue the Stuka. Oh, what happened? What happened? What just happened? The other reason here is we're gonna be putting landing gear on and we wanna make this part reinforced. So that way we can remove the landing gear, we can put it on, and we can really beef up the way it's supposed to. So we're gonna move on from this point to building the fuselage. I honestly feel good. We have to take said piece <laughs> and fit him into there, which looks simple enough. But in reality, it's a two but, to three man team. Well, especially when it's the size. Yes, yeah. so, it's this big. Uh, we don't know whether this is going to buckle or not, so we have to like record this for the prosperity. Yes. Yes, because it's going to be fun. All right, this so, is what you want. Yeah. Say, let me. Don't squeeze it because it might buckle. Okay. Just uh, support it with your chest. The chest is your friend. Chest is your friend. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So there. Hey. Oh, there it is. How do you feel about that? That worked. That's pretty good. There it is. Next step. Next step. <laughs> So John has done a really good job, whether it's a monster build or a mini, of really standardizing the steps for his Master Series designs, which is basically you create your formers, you create the internal structure, and then you create these rings. And these rings simply push over the formers and give you the shape. This is a really amazing technique because what it does is it gives you a perfect fit as you build the airplane. You don't have to rely on an internal structure causing you to try to sheet it one at a time. You simply build rings and stack them up and they nest together beautifully. So we're taking a little bit different approach for the tail here. Uh, typically with our smaller models, a single thickness of foam or sometimes even foam doubled over works really well. But one thing we learned with the Stuka here that we recently did with John was that doing like a uh, full airfoiled or three-dimensional tail where it had more of a teardrop shape not only helped with the aesthetics but also made it incredibly strong. All right, so what we did here is we have this crease and as these come back together and these line up, you get a nice center line rudder. But then more importantly, that three dimension is gonna make this really, really rigid. And it's also gonna go down and grip inside by both sides of the spine of the back part of the fuselage. So it's gonna be really rigid, it's gonna be light, and it's gonna be strong. <laughs> cool. That's awesome, dude. Looks great. Thanks, brother. And we're pretty much done there. I'll just dress up these wires 
And uh, this part's done, then we'll start working on the wing saddle because Noah's almost ready for the wing. Woo! Let's do it. putting the uh, top wing panels on and uh, as you can see we're using a lot of painters tape that's just help us keep things in line and to uh, kind of like as helping hands yeah great. once I put it on the leading edge here what you can see is when I want to glue it I just rotate it up like a hinge like a hinge put glue on it and then I push down I don't have to worry about this leading edge and I can worry about keeping a lot of pressure on the downward wing well done <laughs> So Dad, uh, what are we what are we thinking about here? So we got to make the wing removable for a couple different reasons here. We're going to need to get in this for one reason or another. No doubt, there's going to be crash repairs with the way that we fly. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a plate on this, and then I'm thinking we have these bolts here. We'll use this box. We'll put a plywood plate with some blind that's on the other side, and then the wing will bolt down in the front, and on the back we'll put some tabs. So we slide it in. It tabs on the back, and then the front part of the wing. Uh, bolts down and won't go anywhere, but then when we need to take it apart, we can we can do so easily. Also, we have a plate crazy build day going up in Missouri. I really want to bring this down to John because that's where we're going to be building the Nemesis uh, for this airplane. Now things have been pretty quiet with releases lately, and that's for a really good reason. John has been working really hard behind the scenes to make his models even easier to build. Now just because they're Master Series doesn't mean they have to be hard to build. And just like all of our models, there's common techniques and common symbols that you're going to want to look for to have the best building experience possible, but also to be very familiar. What John has done is created a whole bunch of different symbols so you can easily read what the piece does and also know where it needs to go without having to go through a complicated build video although we will have many build videos for these planes for example here you have your star which means you're gonna start here you're gonna peel the paper you're gonna form this to a half moon and then t6 which is this piece is gonna connect to t5 this way you know exactly where to start and what pieces to join with each other so this piece I'm simply gonna start here I'm gonna peel it I'm gonna mold it and I'm gonna join it to t5 once I'm done with T5, I'm gonna go ahead and do the same process, except this time, I'm gonna go ahead and just form it to the next piece, which is T4, and then so on, all the way until I'm done. At the end of this, I'm gonna have a nice canopy ready to put on the plane, and then we're ready to fly it. Oh, that's perfect, Noah. I think we just cracked the code on finally how to make our monster wings removable, bud. All right, well right now, it's balanced about three inches behind. Yeah, okay, so here's the plan. TJ, I need your soldering help, bud. Okay. We're gonna solder long extensions. We're gonna go up, we're gonna go to the tattoo 14,000 milliamp six cell. And that will keep it way, way lighter. We're gonna go with this. Tattoo 14,000. Yeah. Bricks. But we gotta get all the power now to from the wing to the nose. Gotcha. And that'll be awesome. Sounds good. <laughs> Walking the dog. Dude, I might not, I'm gonna have to get another roll. I think we can jump rope with it. Let's try it. Ready? You wanna see me be unathletic? Hey, it's the designer. John, how you doing? I'm okay, man. You flying yet? No, I'm, I'm underneath your plate right now, and you're you're on you're on camera. At least your voice is. That's awesome. Hello, world. <laughs> hey, we're speaking to the designer here. Do you have any words of wisdom you want to share with the community? Yeah. Hey, don't pull that out. 
airplane. What? <laughs> Don't kill the airplane. Don't kill the airplane, yeah. <laughs> All right, friends, so the ME262 is coming along fantastic, and I absolutely love getting to work with my son, but it's lunchtime, I'm hungry, and now's also the time to talk about our favorite sponsor, HelloFresh. HelloFresh has been really instrumental for our family because they've gotten us out of our recipe rut by offering us different recipes that we can choose from from week to week. And I also love HelloFresh because they cut out stressful meal planning. This is really instrumental because currently my wife works in manufacturing for flight tests. We just moved into our new building. We don't oftentimes have a lot of time to get meals on the table. The best part about this is we can actually do this together. So the last meal that we cooked together as a family was our buffalo spice crispy chicken cutlets. Now our family loves chicken, but the really cool thing about that is we never combined the spice that they included with this chicken along with the breading. Now, I never gotten to actually help my wife with breading chicken before and it was an incredibly easy process. Not only did we get a great meal out of it, but I also learned a new skill in the kitchen that I can help my wife with in the future. Along with the chicken, the green beans and the peel on potatoes were absolutely incredible and very easy to use. The entire meal process only takes us about 30 minutes from preparing the meals all the way to the time that we're eating. Their meal plans are really easy to follow along with their instructions, but also their pre-portioned ingredients make less waste and less stress. Now we have a family of five in our household and Noah eats a lot. So with their larger box sizings, we're not only saving a lot of money, but also we can get the proportions we need to keep everyone fed and happy. And we also love partnering with companies that give back and HelloFresh has donated over 4 million meals in 2020 to various charities. Go to HelloFresh.com and use our code FLIGHTTEST12 to get 12 free meals and also free shipping. The link will be down in the description. Show them some love and don't forget to use that promo code and we got a 262 to finish. Yes. Look behind you. That don't take off. Wow. That's impressive. All right, let me do my differential. Take off. So the, the, the differential crust is good. So the 262 is pretty much ready to fly. The only thing that kept me awake last night was the fact that how heavy the weight is on the nose gear. And this is mainly because the wheels are so far behind the center of gravity. I looked up on the three view here and I noticed that our wheel placement was wrong. We have it way far back. The center of gravity is about seven and a half inches and where the wheels touch down is about 11 to 12 inches behind it, which is meaning that this plane may fly really good, but it's not gonna have the ability to rotate very easily. So what we're gonna be doing today is I'm gonna go ahead and take this piece of wood. I can't just grab the landing gear and bend it forward because this is quarter inch steel. It's so strong, it's gonna rip right out of the wing if I do that. I'm gonna put two lags down. I'm gonna grab the bar, or I'm gonna grab the landing gear uh, with the piece of two by four, hold that still, and I'm gonna have my friend TJ pull that forward, and then we're just gonna put a nice little bend, kicking that forward, hopefully giving us the angle and lightening up this nose a little bit. So as I take off, I'll be able to lift up the nose ever so slightly to get it in the air. And now what I can do is I hold that, like that. Oh, okay. That way, when you push forward on it, it's not going to put any tension up here. It's all going to be on the on the two by four. So leverage. You know you're I mean? you're smart. Well, other, that's other, awesome. Otherwise, we'll rip it rip it out of yeah. the thing. So, are you down for? Uh, <laughs> do you want to get under there and try to bend it? I'm just. Oh yeah, it's moving. Is it? Awesome. Oh yeah, it's moving. <laughs> okay, let's let's check it. I don't want to go too far with it. Oh wow. That's that looking a lot better. Why don't why don't we match the other one? All right. I'm gonna hold it there for just a second. Yep. All right. That. that I mean for my side, man, that looks That looks straighter too. That, that looks straighter. Oh no, that's dead on. And you could nick you could knickknack all day. It looks it looks dead on to me, man. It's pretty darn close. Yeah, I don't I don't think we're gonna get any better than that. I love it. Brother, I think we're ready. I I think we are too. What do you say we charge some batteries and uh Fly. I'm doing that right now. Awesome. Yeah. I'm on. <laughs> it puked. We lost. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep going. 
It's so it's so nervous. It threw up. Yeah. yeah. Oh, watch your wing. <laughs> So the question is, all right, so no more excuses. Batteries are in, CG's figured out. We just gotta see if this thing flies. But before we do, we have a big favor to ask you. TJ's literally been driving two and a half hours each way to come out and help us with content, help us do chase quad. And we wouldn't have the sick footage that we're gonna about to get without this guy right here. So you have your own channel. Yeah, yeah, Buddy RC, Ohio Model Products. Link's in the description. Go over and check it out. And I like how he says that I'm gonna get sick footage. He believes in me a lot. I believe so. in him more than he'll ever know. So we're gonna take this thing in the air, make sure you subscribe subscribe, show TJ some love because we wouldn't be able to do what we're about to do without him right now. I have no excuses. We're going to send this off the hill because we still don't know if it's going to pitch back enough if we got the landing gear where it needs to be. I mean, yeah. You ready? Hey, Jay Biggs. Brother, I got you. I'm right, ready to go. Countdown. Three, two, one. Send it. Oh, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Holy crap. <laughs> Dude, did it even roll? Not a click of trim. Wow. Oh my goodness! So John told me this is gonna be a gentle giant. He was not kidding. All right, this is a treat for all you guys because we're gonna be putting out a kit of this. And it's gonna be a limited kit. And you gotta subscribe and you gotta follow because we'll explain exactly what that limited means. Wow. But it's gonna be special and it's gonna be just for you extreme crazy builders. Oh my gosh. I, okay, now I don't wanna do the combat with it because I don't wanna lose this one. It looks so good. Can, to I a, too. can I do a pass? Sure. You coming down? Very delicately. I don't know about these wings. Oh, they're oh. flapping, bro. All right. Anything we want to do, but slow. Yeah, they're they flap. I saw that. Oh man, Noah! I thought we had the spar issue taken care of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it flies! It didn't break yet. All right, well, we made a removable wing. We are definitely gonna be making another wing because yeah. that was scary. Now tell me, TJ, you're in my eyes in the sky here. Yeah, I don't I, see anything so far. The only, that one little clap's all I saw. For my end, it looks right. it looks phenomenal it right now. It glides for days. Look at the ridge lift right there. That was a thermal. There's just something amazing about these monsters. Look at that! <laughs> I want to do sketchy things. I know I could do sketchy things with this plane, but now after seeing that flap, yeah, I don't want another Stuka. It is a gentle giant here. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna bring it in for landing. I think, right. I think this proves the point. Right on the mains. Oh! <laughs> Nailed it! <laughs> That's a touch and stay. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> it's awesome. back in one piece. It's yeah, it's up the <laughs> gear, but you know we gotta shorten that anyway. We gotta fix that problem. Yeah. That's not a big deal. Um, what an amazing flight! Uh, Holy cow! I was speechless, honestly. We, we've learned so much off of this. All right, so friends, like I said when we were flying, this is gonna be one of John Overstreet's kits. I cannot wait to share more details. Make sure you hit that subscribe bell. Starting in May, the whole world of flight test is gonna change in a huge way, and I can't wait to share that with you. So make sure you hit the subscribe bell, and thanks for being part of the family. DJ, can we fix it and fly it one more time? I want to fly it again. Yeah. <laughs> Let's yeah. Go.